So HDPE has been a product that uh, that has been used extensively in canal enclosures here in in this part of in the, you know our small part of the world here. Uh, our project was was certainly not the first, but it is amongst um, many of the canals that are being piped at this time. Um, actually, there's very few canals anymore that that are not in the planning stages of being enclosed, and HDP has been the product of choice for all of these. This is. Uh, the next step or the next phase in a much larger project that was initiated, well, the construction initiated back in 2016 with uh, what we call Reach One, which was the bottom most, uh, about three and a third miles of the, of the canal, which was piped. Uh, the ultimate goal of our project is to pipe the entirety of the 12 mile canal and tie it into the dam behind the office here, which is Staniker Dam, and uh, serves as one of the main arteries and water storage facilities for the the entirety of the valley here. The canal has been in service since the early 60s and it's a lot of spots it's just tired you know and it's a tired canal and it's there are places where it's weakened and we have uh, excess seepage and we are a part of the of the headwaters or the, of the mountain ranges that generate the water that flows into the Colorado and so we feel the impacts of that drought right uh, which has been going on since the year 2000 and because of operations on Lake of Smead and Powell, it's just becoming a very serious situation. With the fusion process and not having jointed pipe in the ground, um, we know that if it's installed correctly, we should be able to go back 100 years from now and it'll be exactly the way that it is today. And, and that gives us, you know, as far as sustainability of the project, we're just not concerned about longevity. It's just so versatile. I mean, the smaller diameters, they've been able to work with the bending radiuses that the manufacturer recommends and they, they've been able to snake that pipe through some pretty incredible canal channels and alignments. And the Talon is, a, is a, it's an incredible machine, it really is, I mean it's impressive, it just, I mean it demands an audience, um, everybody wants to see it working, everybody at the district wants to see it working, you know we've just never seen anything like this, Bob, Bob Kilpack with uh, ISCO introduced us to the concept of the Talon machine years ago. Because, I mean, we've been talking about the need of such large diameter pipe for, for years, and uh, he felt like he had a solution. We have two different types of fusing machines on the project. We have the Techno Dewey, I believe that's the correct pronunciation. And then we have two different Talon machines on the project. And um, we understand that with the large diameter HDPE pipe, it's just, there are very few fusing machines that are capable of handling this size of pipe. ISCO has, is providing all of the trained technicians to do the welding on this project. I believe um, there's an agreement or, uh, or an arrangement with the contractor. The contractor is responsible for getting the pipe where it needs to be to be fused. ISCO takes care of all the fusion and does all of the logs and makes sure that everything is done correctly. And then uh, the contractor is responsible for for installing the pipe once it's fused. We think that's been a really good partnership because the contractor can do what they do best and ISCO was able to take all of their technicians, get trained and certified using these larger machines. And then they take care of all of all the, uh, the fusion on the site. It's a huge investment for a district of our size to be doing this project. And we anticipate doing future phases of the project as well.